Greetings YouTube viewers, this is Sweet Beats from Sweet Beats Tech Stop. Got a little bit of a different review for you today on an Elisis Microverb 3. This is a vintage 16-bit uh, um, digital multi-effects box from the, I'm going to say, sometime in the 80s. Uh, anyway, I picked this up in a rack of equipment um, and wanted to... Um, put it in my studio rack simply because I'm intrigued because look it's all knobs. Um, this is from an era where you might have uh, where, where we start to see um, uh, you know LCD screen interface um, paging through menus that sort of thing but this guy's kind of neat because yeah, we've just got knobs. Input level, mix, output level. It actually has a two-band shelving EQ on it and then we've got our effect type and then um, within each effect type you have uh, multiple parameters that you can just select with a knob, twist and go. So that's kind of nice. Anyway, I've got this kind of uh, interesting um, I guess, uh, soft spot for Elisis a little bit. Um, I use their um, Monitor 1 Mark II active um, studio monitors. Those are a little older. They're just easier on my ears. I'm used to them and I've just stuck with them. I've also got an RA100 um, reference amplifier and um, that was another thing that I just picked up in a grab bag of stuff, uh, Craigslist. Um, but then I got the schematic for it, and I can't remember if the whole thing um, is discrete, the circuit design, but I know the output stage, it's all discrete, meaning there's no integrated circuits, no chips. Um, so anyway, they, and I've got a long relationship with a quadriverb. Uh, it's one of my favorite outboard effects boxes. Yeah, it's like super noisy, but there's just some effects on it that just got ingrained in my brain and I can't let go of, and so I've got one of those. So anyway, so I got this thing and I was kind of curious, and I tore it apart only because I'm um, mounting a binding post um, to the back plane, to the chassis, because I need to interface the chassis ground with my studio ground and it's just got a nine volt wall wart there's no um, ground interface so anyway i was putting that in so i pulled it apart it's actually kind of a nice chassis design um and you know so anyway like i said this is a little bit of a different review because normally you get on youtube and you'd be like "Ooh, what do the effects sound like but i I'm, I'm not that way i just get interested in the guts like maybe later I'll do something about what it sounds like. But here's the main PCB and um, and I was really surprised. It's kind of nicely put together. It's nicely laid out. Okay, so for you folks that are just like interested in guts, yeah, we've got the plastic jacks, but these are decent quality like breaking jacks. So, um, anyway, but what really intrigued me as I got into it, I'm looking at it, I'm like, uh, let's see if we can see here in the video, look, it's chock full of Wema caps, which are considered to be good quality. These are, um, I think these are stacked film caps, uh, boxed, and so those are really good quality. And then again, this is going back some decades, but um, on the left side of the device is like the analog input and output. And that's handled by these um, TL084. So those are um, um, quad op amps. Uh, and the, so that like the 82, that's a, a dual op amp. That was like an upgraded version of the TLO72. And I know people like hate on the TLO72. They're like, oh, it sucks. But the thing is, is the TLO72 is in like everything. 
In fact, it's even the op amp used in some sort of lusted after boutique mixing consoles because people need to realize that it's not so much about what, what um, integrated circuit op amp is used, it's about the whole circuit design. So anyway, the 072 was one of the first like purpose-built audio grade operational amplifiers and it continues to be used even today and the 82 was an upgrade to that so i think uh, lower noise lower distortion maybe higher slew rate um, so more better of what the 072 was and then the 84 is the um, quad version of the 082 so this thing is full of TL-084, op amps, WEMA, caps. So anyway, I was pleasantly surprised when I opened it up and looked at that and just thought that I would share this sort of Sweet Beats review of the guts of the Elisis Microverb 3. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. If you did and you want more garbage like this, uh, subscribe. Um, uh, hit me up with comments. I do monitor all uh, comments that come in, um, even try and provide some technical assist if folks have that on occasion. I don't always have time for that, but I am watching and monitoring and get into this stuff. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe and hit me up with comments if you have any questions or feedback. Thanks for watching.